Tonight on Inside Jam, it's us versus Finger Eleven versus their career. We'll test the band's memories about their history so far with some help from their new retrospective CD DVD, Us vs. Then vs. Now. I'm David J. Roberts. And I'm Tara Sloan, and welcome to a special edition of Inside Jam. Tonight we mark the release of Finger Eleven CD DVD, Us vs. Them vs. Now. The disc features a live performance of their new album, Them vs. You vs. Me. It features old interviews and performances from throughout the group's 14-year history. And digs into the audio archives to show us how they went from Burlington Garage Band to number one on the charts. CD, DVD, Us vs. Then vs. Now starts off with the Finger Eleven we know today, a band that's developed an electric stage show armed with an arsenal of metal, rock, and pop-inspired music. The concert portion of the DVD showcases live performances from the Warehouse Studio in Vancouver and from the Berkeley Church here in Toronto. The disc then takes us on a video diary of the band's 14-year history. On it, they pull from their archives live performances, behind-the-scenes footage, and interviews dating all the way back to their pre-Finger 11 days, when they were just starting out as a Burlington garage band called the Rainbow Butt Monkeys. Rounding out the CD-DVD collection, the group dusts off their studio recordings to give fans access to rare tracks, b-sides, and demos. First of all, why did you want to put this together? It's been such a great year so far, you know, to have something out, you know, it just seemed like perfect timing to finally mm -hmm. get something, you know, compiled together. Well, we were talking about putting a DVD out for years and years. I think there's TV interviews of actually me and Rich saying that, like, this Christmas is going to be a DVD, and it was like four <laughs> or five years ago. And I think it was just the timing of everything, too, like just get, and being able to uh, get all the footage together and have something current that was cool and relevant as well so it just seemed like that yeah like the timing was right and how, how time-consuming was it for you did you actually pour through a lot of the footage to to put it together we had to um, we had to go through all the demos and stuff uh, like for the CD part we had to figure out what we wanted to put on there and if it was good enough did it hold up and uh, we also had to lock ourselves in a our boardroom and look at you know every piece of footage and you know try to figure it out uh, try to figure out if it was interesting or not you know which is impossible. It's really you hard. Watch yourself, you know, five years ago, <laughs> jumping around. And you're like, is this cool? I don't know. If this is, is cool. I mean, I don't is know there if ever? Want... Do you guys ever watch yourself and think, I'm, I look great? I don't know. <laughs> this, this looks cool. It's, it, it always feels better doing it than right. watching it. You know, For sure. it's more fun to be in the moment. And if you look at it later on, it's like, oh yeah, I was in the moment there. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> now, I, th I think really, you know, what this this shows. Um, and probably for every band, but it seems from the outside that your career has really been marked by um, some real transitions. Mm -hmm. The first of which is Rainbow Butt Monkeys to, to Finger Eleven, mm -hmm. obviously. So tell me about why that decision was made. Well, you know, the Butt Monkey stuff was our, our, our high school project that, 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 that took off. I mean, it was cool to watch it happen, but it's like, okay, wait, 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 wait. This is, this is, our, this is our high school band, and all of a sudden it became way bigger and kind of uh, uh, everybody knew about it and we thought okay well um, this, the stuff we started writing after that record just seemed way different mm -hmm. um, was that was that conscious for you I don't I don't think so I, I think we decide to, to get into a room and then whatever comes out is like well if you compare with the stuff we had been doing before it's like well this is different we have to acknowledge that and I think we we took like a real serious turn to sort of counteract what we were doing which is probably, it probably was a little too serious. Because at this point, I mean, we're still very serious about the music, but I think the sense of humor shows out, mm -hmm. um, uh, shows through a little bit more. But it was just a need for the band to say, well, we, we're not really into that anymore. And the, new, the music that we're going to do is, is, is cooler. So we had to acknowledge that. You know, that was the idea. It, won, it didn't go over well with anybody close to us. You know, as far as our career, it was like, right. dudes, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And we said, well, don't worry about it. The music's going to take care of itself, but we'll be fine. 
And we still have that sort of naive attitude today, which is cool. That's, you should have that kind of attitude. You should believe real strongly in your music. But that's why we decided to change. It's like, we don't want to do this anymore. It, the, the stuff we're doing is different. Still to come on Inside Jam, the boys and their toys. Just how well off is Finger Eleven? The guys address the speculation. I've only got six houses. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Like, what's the problem?